All right, let's do CPR to her. In the real world, it's just a dummy torso for practicing CPR. But in the VR world, it's a patient named Anne. Well done. Anne is now saved. It's just one of the advances virtual reality can bring to the healthcare field. There's so many ways that VR can be used, not just for training and education, but to actually help treat patients. So to reduce pain or to um, give people who are confined to one location because they're sick um, an experience to socialize with the outside world or to help elderly people experience things that they no longer can. So I think VR is, has so many um, great applications in healthcare and we're just only scratching the surface of the potential. This sequence allows people to see through the eyes of a patient with macular degeneration, a condition that affects both sight and hearing. This program attempts to illustrate what dementia looks and feels like. Dementia is a, is a difficult condition for people to get their, to get their heads around and there's lots of misconceptions <laughs> that surround dementia. So in order to raise awareness and challenge some of those misconceptions, we developed a virtual reality experience that tries to put people in the shoes of someone who's living with dementia and trying to show them how everyday life can be more challenging and just how some of the symptoms of dementia can affect the way that they go about their everyday lives. So you're now in an Afghan rural village, so you can look around a little bit, you're on a little bridge. VR can also give psychologists a new tool to help their patients work through issues like PTSD. What we do is, in addition to just closing your eyes and thinking about it, we give patients a way to see some of their experiences, to hear some of their experiences. And it's something that the clinician can use as an additional tool as part of the overall treatment. Researchers who are trying to incorporate these technologies into medical practice say they're just getting started. So here we have the construction of the, the heart valve up close then we can go into many other areas and start to look at how cancer, cancer cells interact, for example, you know, conditions that, you know, on the surface we, we, we don't see. The VR hospital just ended its run in London, but the melding of VR and medicine is just beginning. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.